So today we're going to learn how to track text onto any object. So let's get started. So first of all, we're actually going to drag our clip that we're going to use into a composition. So this is the clip we're going to use right here. Now from here, we want to add an effect called 3D Camera Tracker. So this is the one and drag it onto your clip. So what is happening right now is the 3D tracker is actually analyzing the clip and trying to find key points to actually track on the vehicle or let's say it's a road or whatever it is to actually track the text to so it can stick there and be a 3D object. So now that it's analyzed our whole clip, you see all these little X's all over. These are our tracking points. So to make them a little bigger, go to tracking point size just so you can see them a little easier. So from here, the software is actually going to grab three tracking points of the car and actually that's what it's going to use to create the text to actually stick on that and become a 3D layer. So I'm just going to choose these three here. So what we do is we right click once we found the three we like and create text and camera. So now we should actually have our text tracked to our vehicle. So from here, to make it a bit easier to work with, we actually go to our text layer, press S as a shortcut to bring up the scale, and just scale it down a little so we can see what we're working with. From here, you can double click the text and change the words to whatever you want. So I'm just going to write Nexotic. So Nexotic right here. To the right over here in characters, you can change it to whatever font you want and just play around with all the settings. I'm pretty happy with what it is, but honestly, you can change it to whatever you want. So once you have your text actually looking the way you want and it's tracked to the car, make sure you're in this select tool right here. So you can just press V or you can select it just over here and then click on your text. And this should actually bring up all these axes right here. So these axes will actually allow you to rotate it, to tilt it, to actually bring it further forward, backwards, depending on what you use. So Z rotates the clip, X tilts it, the Y axis brings it up and down, and the Z axis brings it forward and backwards. You can also just click your text and just drag it wherever you want it to be. It'll still track in the same rough area. So I'm now just going to adjust it to the way I want the car. So I'm pretty happy with how it's looking right now, but we want it to make it feel like it's actually in the image. So to do that, we want to create kind of a shadow on the vehicle. So in order to do this, we want to click our text, Command D to duplicate it. So now we have two texts to work with. So with the second text, we want to move it back and just place it somewhere on the vehicle. So I'm pretty happy roughly where it's placed. Now we want to change the color of it to let's say a darker color. Press OK. So now that we've got the darker duplicate behind, we add an effect called Gaussian Blur. So drag that effect onto the black layer, the darker one, and then just scale it up a little. Now from here, drop the opacity down to let's say 22%. I'm pretty happy with that. This little shadow on the car that makes it feel more realistic. So there you go, that's exactly how you create a tracking text onto any object. It can be a car, it could be a road, it could be a house, it can be honestly anything. So hopefully you liked it. Um, leave a comment on what you would actually like to learn next. I'm open to anything and actually showing you guys how it's done. But hopefully you like this effect and I'll see you in the next one. Let's go.